a lot of producers and I say this because this I get asked this question all the time or or I get contacted by producers who have this idea in their heads. Mm-hmm. A lot of producers have this idea that in order to sell beats online, they have to make trap beats or Drake type beats or basically what they see is is a popular style or a popular sound. Um, right. Did you feel that way when you first started? Uh, you know, I, I didn't really think about it because I didn't do it for like the money aspect, I really just did it to, uh, I guess, to get my name out there to keep creating music. And um, yeah, I never thought that I would be able to live off of making a beat in general. But um, you know, nah, I, I didn't, I didn't really feel that way. But I like looking at it now, I can really see why somebody would think that. But um. And honestly, the bread and butter is in the the niche type of vibe. Griselda is like everybody wasn't doing that, so I could see why I'm kind of flourishing how I'm doing now. And um, yeah, you know, it's Elaine in the boom bap realm. So you would say that it's actually an advantage on your side to not make what's deemed as as the popular sound, right? You could say it's less competition, you know, if you want to. Although it's building now, but yeah, definitely. And were you kind of an early adapter to um, that type of beat? Uh, can you explain what you mean by that? In the sense of when you when you well, I, we'll, we'll get to SEO later. Um, it's just when you started; these numbers are crazy. They're like jumping up and then having and then doubling and tripling. Anyway, shout out to everyone in the chat. Shout out to everyone tuning in. Uh, when when you first started uploading your type of beat did you feel like you were one of the few people really targeting that sound um honestly no i feel like i was slightly late to the party i mean it wasn't too many people doing it i guess but i felt like i was late because i remember when i started i'm like oh dang this guy has gotten over 100k views he has 20k subscribers like damn i can't compete with that but um uh, so not, I mean, I was like in the middle, but it's, the thing is that it's just, even today, it's not really a, um, a sound that everybody's looking for. So it really d- doesn't matter when you hop in. Okay. So take, take me back to that moment when you looked at the competition and said, okay, wow, there are all these people that are way ahead of me. That's that that would be discouraging and it is discouraging to a lot of people. And that's that's why I go back to these conversations I have with producers here and there where they're just discouraged before even starting Mm -hmm. because of this perceived saturation, this perceived um, competition and and the fact that they're starting from zero. That that just is, is a terrifying prospect. What made you say, you know what, I don't even care about that. I'm just going to try it out. Um, I guess because I like YouTube wasn't my end goal and it's still not today. Like what I really want to do is actually work with these artists. And uh, I feel like having a different goal in mind and not saying like YouTube is my end all be all helped me say like, forget about the numbers, just put in the work and you know, you're going to grow. So I think that's what it was. 